Hey, what's up, folks? Welcome on in. I've got my hands on a virtual tabletop rule set all in one, currently in early access. It's something I've been exploring a bit lately. It's called Fablecraft or Tales of Fablecraft. It's on Steam right now, and you can grab it for the low, low price of zero gold pieces. This game comes packed with some cool content, including a full adventure. Starting for free is a fantastic deal, especially considering the quality of adventure, the great art, sounds, NPCs, and items, along with the clean, intuitive presentation, though there are some small bugs. That's a hit. Looks like Roast Roxquito is on the menu. As with most VTTs, additional packs can be purchased on top of the base app, which did I mention is free? Early access does leave a lot to be desired, but that's a good thing because what I found here, although it might seem like a basic set of presets, is actually a streamlined, faster, smoother, and more convenient way to run quick pickup games. Missing a main session of Pathfinder on Fantasy Grounds Unity, but still want to run with some of the crew? Fablecraft is a great option. For GMs who might feel bashful or unprepared to tackle a pre-existing rule set with a dozen released supplements and adventure packs, Fablecraft is a solid starting point for both players and GMs. It also provides enough for seasoned GMs to appreciate the beauty of the pickup and play experience it offers, capturing what I would consider a pretty standardized version of its more complex D20 contemporaries. Character creation is smooth, keeping this theme going. While some might see it as a bit limited, I think it really lets you enjoy the automation of the tabletop combat, the maps, the tokens, and the skill animations without distracting you too much. This distraction is often what slows down more complex rules in VTTs. It should be noted that Fablecraft, when compared to something like Roll20, Foundry, or Fantasy Grounds Unity, isn't really competing in the same space. It includes single player content, a player tutorial, as well as a GM tutorial. And though basic, these provide enough to give would-be GMs and players enough confidence to get things started, get things running, and possibly even create more complex stories of their own using the included assets or the ones from the marketplace. Regarding pricing, I've heard some say that the content is expensive. And while I don't entirely agree, I don't exactly disagree either. So let me explain. As a relatively experienced GM in Pathfinder 2nd Edition and Starfinder, I find that a four to five hour one shot is roughly five to ten dollars for the PDF version or the version for other VTTs. In comparison, that same amount of content in a five session adventure on Fablecraft cost about twenty dollars. However, there's also the element of automation that perhaps isn't immediately understood. It offers the experience that feels more like a standard RPG video game, presenting familiar elements to new players and learners, while being convenient for experienced players who might want to focus more on role-playing or other aspects of the game. Another aspect to consider is the session time. The advertised session time for Fablecraft is 90 minutes, which is accurate for new players and those unfamiliar with virtual tabletops. However, experienced users will often find that they can complete these sessions in about 45 to 60 minutes. This efficiency is particularly beneficial for those looking to fit in a game on short notice or within a limited time frame. The included sounds, art, maps, tokens, and NPCs are part of the adventure packs, and although basic, they provide enough fundamental building blocks for creators to make some impressive homebrew content or rules. In other VTTs, Available sounds, maps, art, all that stuff is often sold separately or part of a subscription. I'm excited to announce that I'm happy with what I've seen so far. I've run multiple sessions and had a blast trying to craft my own fun from the assets that are included in the available packs while working around the currently limited tools, features, and offerings. With plans to expand and offer more going forward, it's an ambitious project. But after dealing with the team regarding bugs, features, and seeing how they interact with the community, I'm confident that as long as they don't overextend and stay focused on these great points, Fablecraft will easily become my go-to for short notice pickup games and casual introductory games. Well done. 
Fablecraft also includes built-in mic and camera support, which is great for enhancing the virtual tabletop experience. However, this feature needs a bit more technical attention as there are ongoing conflicts with popular mic software like voice mod or manufacturer headset software. Once these issues are ironed out, it will greatly improve the overall experience. And as far as what is included when you download this free pack, you're getting the actual application itself, of course. You're also getting the included adventure pack, the Road to the Starfall Festival, which may I add is fantastic. I've run it through a couple of times as a GM. I still haven't had a chance to play, so I am on the lookout for a game. Holler at me. As well as, of course, the uh, Rainbow Cake Dice skin that is available through unlocking tutorials. As far as available content in the marketplace, you've got dice and token skins. Those are $2 a piece for the individual dice or token skins. As well, you can get two in a themed combo pack and those run about $4.99. There's also adventure packs that are available right now. The House in the Manor, as well as Murder on the Tipsy Pearl, which are $20 a piece. And planned upcoming content, Once Upon a Wildwood and High Society, for fall and winter, plus so-called content packs like Brawler Collection and Storyteller Collection, presumably featuring NPCs, possibly items, not too sure on what the prices are going to look like for those. And what are some of my final thoughts? Well, having spent over a thousand hours on Fantasy Grounds Unity with Pathfinder 2nd Edition and Starfinder, I approached Fablecraft with pretty high expectations, and it didn't disappoint. The game is damn cool. All the scenes and sounds are a vibe, really enhancing immersion and setting the tone. Each environment feels meticulously crafted, pulling you right into the adventure. What really hits the mark is how Fablecraft serves as a perfect bridge or on-ramp for would-be GMs and new players. Its intuitive design and user-friendly interface make it super accessible for newcomers who might find traditional tabletop setups intimidating. At the same time, longtime players looking for a more casual, streamlined session will find it to be a refreshing change of pace. The balance it strikes between depth and simplicity is just right, offering a solid experience without overwhelming you. For those who have been navigating the intricate worlds of Fantasy Grounds Unity, Roll20, Foundry, or other complex VTTs, the transition to Fablecraft feels like a natural step. The game keeps the rich storytelling and strategic depth that seasoned players enjoy, while providing tools and features that make the gaming experience smoother and more engaging. So I say all that to say this, if you're looking for an immersive and accessible RPG experience, Fablecraft is well worth checking out. Whether you're just starting out or a veteran looking for a streamlined session, it has plenty to offer those seeking a fresh take on tabletop gaming. The combination of quality content, user-friendly design, and the potential for expansion makes it an exciting addition to the world of virtual tabletops. And with that, that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget, if you've enjoyed the video, you know where that button is. If you didn't enjoy the video, you know where that button is. Make your way over to the subscribe button if you've enjoyed the content and you want to see more in the future going forward. And if you do that, don't forget to ring the bell so you get notifications anytime I upload. Peace.